Okay, so I want to start um, a segment called Inquiring Minds, and that's just any kind of discussions that I want to have, and just mainly because I have guest subscribers too, and um, I didn't want to leave them out, and plus I um, I want to get to, I don't have that many subscribers, so get to know as many as I can. But anyway, inquiring minds. Now, this this little thing is about me. I had a best friend, been best friends since um, third, fourth grade, something like that, and um, been friends all these years. She went to the army. I went to the navy. Um, everything going fine. Now a little bit to backtrack her history. Um, she was a very nice girl but you know how um, she had, uh, her mother was real evil and so most of her time was spent in my house. Now um, back to uh, her family, um, her sister, while she was in the military she trusted her sister to pay a car note, took all her money. I mean just that type of family, you know, just dog you out, get what they can from you, that's it. Okay, so let's get back, okay. We've been friends since forever. Um, she comes see me wherever I'm at, no matter how many miles away it is, I go see her. Um, then I would say, um, as we were leaving the military, um, uh, I was married, and she um, got married while she was towards the latter part of her um, time in the military. So, when she got out, um, her husband got um, jobs based off his military background. Um, he was, um, uh, it was, I'm, what I'm trying to say, he got a job paying a lot of money basically based off what he was doing in the military. And so, it became a little financial gap. Um, uh, and you know where how much we were making just because um, unfortunately me and my husband had jobs in the military that weren't so transferable or as his was kind of like administration you know basically and mine was uh, a radar ops but I didn't want to do anything dealing with the um, with airplanes or anything like that so long story short um, now we begin to see a, a, a little um, uh, financial differences, you know, in where we are. So therefore, now I can't come visit her as much. I don't have the money that she makes. So if we were to visit, either that means, you know, in some, you know, some form or fashion, you know, she would have to either um, uh, meet me halfway or. Two, she would have to come up here because I can't make so many trips up there. So, we already feeling a little strain from that, which shouldn't happen between good friends as long as we've been friends. Now, on my part, I can say, and, and it's easy for me to say because I'm on the lower end of the totem pole, but um, uh, I, I don't really think it was any type of difference. Um, you know, it didn't make a difference to me at all. If she didn't make any uh, money at all. It, it, we would have still been friends as usual. Well, you know, I noticed like uh, one year she really wanted to see us and um, what well, they wanted to see us because her husband and my husband were also friends. So we decided we would meet halfway in Atlanta. Well, um, it was kind of like um, he had been over in Afghanistan, uh, Afghanistan, and she had two. They kept missing each other, and they had just got married, so it would be kind of like they're out of the military honeymoon. So she decided she wanted to get an expensive hotel. So of course, us, we already have, you know, our house. We have our bills. You know, I, I can't. We didn't plan for it, so we couldn't do it. So um, the deal was, so she could see us that she would, um, don't worry about the room, you know, paying for the room or anything like that, which kind of made me feel a little bad because when you get such an expensive, you know, she had like expensive suite where you have to, um, uh, pay $20 per car to park, so, you know, it was $20 she had to pay for her car, my car, you know, whatever, whatever. So anyway, uh, you know, I started seeing a little, you know, 
funky attitude, you know, towards that. Which, again, I didn't ask for this, you know. She wanted to see us. I told her the situation. You know, she offered. Hey, I, I believe me, we've been in a in a place where we've done the same thing for them when, you know, they were, weren't making, you know, as much money as we were or so have you. So, anyway, it started there where I started to see a little snootiness, you know, and I was like, mm, okay, you know, it can't be. So, um, as time went on, she um, stays um, in Carolina and I stay in Mississippi. So, a um, little ways away, but not too far. Um, the phone calls started, started to shorten. And then when they would come, it was always, um, guess what, we bought a $100,000 house, or guess what, you know, this and that. Now, get, don't get me wrong, I, I'm happy for you, but call me on a regular basis. Don't just call me, you know, boasting this way or that way or whatever. So, you know, I thought it was just me, you know, Toya. It's just you, stop acting like that. So, um, like I said, she meet new friends, you know, whatever. And I'm not uh, such a sociable person where I would, I get to meet, you know, different people like that. I, I'm, I stay at home. So, you know, I don't have, you know, as big of a social life. So I try to, you know, put that factor that in. So, um, now everybody knows I have cancer. Now this is so sad. YouTube knows I have cancer. She didn't know I had cancer. Guess why? She hadn't called me. I mean, anything. And it came up, um, uh, once I did try to call her, that, um, I was on Facebook and, um, her sister, her sister decided she wanted to add me. And I know her sister nor her mother likes me. Don't know why. I have no idea. So, I simply uh, message her back. I don't, if, if you don't care for me, why would you want to friend me on Facebook? You know, simple question. So, I get a call. Rah, 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 rah. Why did you talk that way to my sister and this and that? And I was just like, oh my goodness, you know, what's the deal? You know, these are the same people, you know, who did this, that, and the third. Not saying family does not come first, but you have to consider your source. So, Anyway, come to find out, now, I found out because I went on Facebook one day, and uh, we weren't friends anymore, so I was like, okay, so, anyway, we weren't friends because I told her sister, why would you want to be friends with me on Facebook? Sounds funny to me. Now, inquiring minds want to know, was this escalating way before now? You know, or was it really that big of a deal that I spoke my mind? Let me know.